Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a day that we've been looking forward to for a while now, especially inside of Team of the Year. The full Team of the Year is expected to be in packs today. No more of the position-related releases. Full 11 in packs today, and we have a lot to look at, including these Team of the Year prices definitely dropping off today. If you have any of these in your team, I'd be very careful because more pack supply and panic selling ahead of the pack supply today has me thinking that some of these Team of the Year will be dropping off considerable amounts in value. So we'll talk about that and look at that. And of course, EA is hopefully dropping us a nice SBC today as well. An SBC that we have been wanting to see. We have confirmed stats leaked for Player of the Month Mbappe. But the stats that we have seen are a bit unfortunate. So we'll look at that and talk about maybe how it might be worth skipping this SBC if you already have an Mbappe, maybe even just the gold card in your club. We'll talk about the price of that and how that could be today. Of course, cover the rest of potential Thursday content and what is going to happen on this market and the beginning of what we will see tomorrow on a, the real big day of Team of the Year. With the honorable mentions being dropped in packs, we have leaks and those leaks are moving prices on the market like crazy. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you're new, let's talk about full team of the year in packs and let's talk about some of these prices because some of them have already been dropping off. You've seen prices dropping in the past, maybe about 12 hours or so. As these cards, some of them are still in packs, of course, like the defenders are right now. But Teo started the day yesterday at 1.7 mil, went all the way down to about 1.4 where he is right now. I think literally every single card in the team of the year is going to end up cheaper today at the end of the day than they did at the start of the day because these guys are going to be packed a lot, right? And the full team is going to be out. And of course, on top of that, people know that the full team is going to be out and they have started selling, right? Case in point, look at this Benzema card. He was 2 million coins plus plus earlier in the week and of course even yesterday on Wednesday it was 2.1 million coins all the way down to 1.85 had a bounce back but is now in the 1.8s again I think a lot of this team of the year you're going to see big price drop price drop offs today even before the content drop because people that have these will be selling and wanting to get them out because they fear bigger price drop offs that is going to pull these players prices down a lot and then I think they're going to even fall further after the 6 p.m content drop well not every single one of them but a lot of them will fall further today because they're of course going to be in packs and EA is going to be running lightning rounds today and I mean guys believe it or not and I know a lot of you guys watching this video are not planning to opening to open your packs until tomorrow on Friday but a lot of people are going to actually end up opening packs today because they will see full team of the year in packs EA is going to get a lot of lightning round sales today they're going to get a lot of people to open their packs because they see the full team of the year is in packs trust me EA know what they're doing with this this is how it's going to go down today. So just be careful with these cards. At the same time, with all those packs being open and all um, of those people opening packed, that's going to bring coins to the market. I do think that some of these team of the years will be a lot lower to end the day today and will be dropping off during the day, but they also could reach low points and some of them could bounce back. Maybe watch some of your more rare cards. Hakimi is still very, very rare. Maybe you watch a Jude Bellingham, maybe Teo. You know, any of these team of the year cards, if you're trying to trade it with any of these today, there could be some pretty good fluctuations with the panic selling with the supply and some potential bounce backs but make those quick flips because tomorrow and friday it's probably gonna get even crazier that's the biggest part of this game today besides the sbcs right all 11 of those cards coming into packs so watch out for that for sure now also today uh well not even also today but with this team of the year 11 we do know the 12th man it has been leaked and there's really no surprise. This card, Erling Brad Holland, is going to be our official 12th man award. He's going to get a full team of the year card, full team of the year boost. 97 would be an absolutely mental card. Uh, but, I mean, in years past, if you take a look, we've had Ronaldo as 12th man. We've had some pretty juiced 12th man cards. So, I don't know if Holland's going to be 97. Maybe it'll be 96. Maybe even 95. But, should be a very, very nice card. The only problem is, and you see somebody comment here in this tweet, Seb Foot says, shame it's no longer the lengthy meta TBH. It's just true. But this card may not even be lengthy because he gets such a big dribbling boost. Depending on how much they boost his card, this might be a non-lengthy Holland because he would have too high of agility to be lengthy. He would end up being controlled. But that is your 12th man award winner. If you were looking forward to Valverde, 
don't get too sad because I think Valverde is going to get an honorable mention and we'll talk about that here very soon. But this card will not be in packs today. Again, we are speaking and kind of going off of the schedule that EA have done now for the past couple of years. We are very confident that the full team is going to be in packs today. I would be shocked if they didn't put the full team in packs today because that would just be EA missing out on FIFA point sales and basically money that they could make. So the schedule as follows is team of the year in packs today, honorable mentions, and the 12th man in packs tomorrow on Friday. So we'll talk about more honorable mention stuff here in a second, but let's continue talking about today on Thursday. How is the market going to move, right? We talked about it with people getting opening packs and getting coins. There could be other places on the market today that do move up. Now, I know these team of the year icons are in packs and there's a lot of cards that are still very high at the moment, but I do feel like there could be some cards today with people that are going out and getting coins from opening packs. Some cards that are maybe out of packs, maybe, you know, uh, some of your like other promo cards, like other Path to Glories or other World Cup promo cards, maybe the Centurions, Winter Wild cards. Some cards like that could have a slight rise today, but it should be a pretty uneventful day in most parts on the market, except for some maybe leaks and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too crazy of a day just because tomorrow is the really, really big day. Now, speaking of a big day, it's going to be a big day for SBCs because of the player of the month, Mbappe, right? We expected this SBC last Thursday when it was announced, but it actually wasn't. And we have official stats. I'm sure you guys have seen these and we are underwhelmed, right? We were hoping that Mbappe was going to be a 93. He's only going to be a 92. And the reason that we have confirmed stats is the SBC must be coming today, right? Foot Sheriff tweeted this yesterday. Thursdays are like almost always the days where they drop League One Player of the Month. And it's only a 92 rated Mbappe. If, if you look at this compared to his gold card, it is a plus one in every individual stat, but plus three passing. And now the question is, where is this card going to come in at in terms of price? We were all looking forward to crafting a Player of the Month Mbappe during Team of the Year to get a high rated Mbappe, a nice upgrade over his gold card in our team and now we see this and we're like wow is it even worth it to do the Mbappe player of the month SBC when it's just a slight plus one upgrade and plus three passing over his gold card if you have the gold card untradeable if this SBC today is at a million to 1.3 million coins like honestly what is the value of this SBC going to be to make it worth doing today um, I feel like it has to be like exceptionally cheap for it to be something, if, especially if you have an Mbappe gold already in your team untradeable, I wouldn't upgrade my gold Mbappe to that just for a dynamic image and some plus ones. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing that I have to say about that. We already have a 92 inform Mbappe. It's around 1.4. That's why we're guessing this SBC would be around the 1.1 to 1.3 million coin range. But I could see EA overpricing it because fodder prices on a lot of the market are still a bit inflated. But again, a lot of people just saw this and myself included, we're just a little bummed because we were hoping for a 93 Mbappe, a more expensive SBC, but also better stats and one that would maybe feel like it could last a bit longer. But don't get you know too sad about this because also I know so many people were just looking to do a player of the month Mbappe just because it's a nice card with a dynamic image. People are still going to do this SBC, even if it comes out at like 1.5 million coins. People are still going to do this because it's Mbappe, right? And because people were had their minds set on this, Mbappe Player of the Month, people I've had really good interactions with in the past, people do an Mbappe Player of the Month like this. It's an upgrade over the gold. So they go out and they do it and they'll have this guy in their team for literally the rest of the year, right? And if that's your idea and what you want to do and you're still set on that, that's fine. I'm really not trying to talk you out of it. I just think that if you're in the place where you have a version of Mbappe and tradable already, I mean... I would probably just keep that version of Mbappe and not do the SBC. But of course, it's an Mbappe SBC. People will want to get it done. So we'll have to see what the price is. But if it's going to be a lot cheaper, that might not mean as good of profits on some of the SBC fodder, specifically your really high rated. Your 91s have been around 69, 70, 71K. They've been up in price because of the icon SBCs we've had. And people were investing in this stuff really heavily, hoping that Mbappe would be like a 2 million coin SBC and require some 89 and maybe 90 rated squads. If we're going to have a 1 million, 1.2 million coin Mbappe, I mean, it might just be an 88 rated squad. Maybe an 89 would be the highest overall squad inside of that SBC, which would maybe hurt the rise of these 90s and 91s a bit. But there's still a lot of SBCs to come and there's so much crafting 
still to happen during a team of the year that i wouldn't necessarily sell these cards um i would just maybe not expect to see these guys go to like 80k or something crazy because mbappe doesn't require as many high rated squads and isn't as expensive there's still a lot of crafting to be done right now let's talk about fodder today with the packs that we talked about being open we've seen this now every single day when ea is running lightning rounds yes there's demand like on uh, monday right all these guys went to like 18k lightning rounds boom pushed them back down to 16 tuesday we had the refresh of the icon pack they went up to like 20k boom lightning rounds pushed them back down to 17 yesterday and wednesday they went up to 18k now they're back down and they're dropping lower with mbappe today would fodder like really go up on the mid tier and like kind of boom i don't think it would go up that much it's not like it's a gamble sbc pack that so many people are going to rush out to the game and do but i mean there could be a little bit extra demand for an mbappe sbc today which could make some fodder hold its price but at the same time i still feel like as you saw with these graphs it would drop off into the evening a bit just because there's going to be a lot of supply and i especially think on the lower tier of fodder 83s were like 3,000 coins yesterday at the content drop with the 83 times three defender pack being out it says two five but a lot of them were actually like 2.7 to 3k if i had these lower tier fodder cards i would look to sell them before the content drop today if you have 82s i think there's still an opportunity for 82s and 83s to go up before content today but then afterwards they are probably going to drop unless ea release some sort of like other pack today right i don't know what other gamble pack they could put out maybe like a last second 83 times something upgrade i know we've had the 83 times three defender i did that all three times if ea dropped one of those last second today that stuff could maybe go higher after content but if they don't and if it's just mbappe player sbc as our content today which it very well could be fodder especially on that lower tier end is going to drop off so if you have that stuff i would consider selling it pretty soon because especially tomorrow on friday when there's more pack supply and more people opening packs even more than today that stuff's probably going to drop down a little bit lower but the high tier i think i would hold because it's not going to get packed as much and there's still sbc demand out so other potential content we could see today i mean we still have a richarlison sbc that is leaked um i mean technically Mane flashback if you if you rewind all the way back to last year on this day in fifa 22 on this day we had the flashback varan last year so i don't know if that is just different this year because of course we had uh the pogba already we've had the ramos already will they drop a flashback mane today it could be a part of content but i also imagine that today just feels like it would probably be a little bit of a quieter day just like yesterday was right yesterday we had one sbc um and other than that it was it was pretty quiet right so i would imagine today would be kind of like that as well um again yesterday we had the 83 times three defenders we had a kid sbc so technically we had two but it's probably going to be a pretty quiet day of content today because ea want us to be focused on tomorrow i know mbappe is big content but you know in the reality of the scheme of things there's not going to be a ton of sbcs today because the real big day is tomorrow so i'm really not expecting to see Mane today i'm not expecting to see richarlison or a team of the year icon player sbc either i feel like today would be a little bit of a quieter one marquee matchups of course you expect that that's a normal thursday thing some last tradable packs maybe to save up or to probably open those before um you know fodder maybe drops off a bit on that lower tier and you can sell those lower tier fodder cards for a higher price that might be uh something good that you can do today in terms of some content on this game but today is just going to be a day to catch up as well maybe get a couple games in qualify for weekend league or maybe the last day to build upgrade packs today might be a really solid day what are gold rares right now still 800 850 yeah gold rares are still 800 to 800, 850 coins they are going up right and every single day that goes by they go up just a little bit more maybe today with the lightning rounds with the packs being open these could drop maybe just a smidge that might be a little bit helpful uh, because these gold rares just slowly keep rising up in price as people are building upgrade packs and people will start opening upgrade packs today again guys i really would caution against that because we will see and look at these cards here in a second these team of the year honorable mentions are going to be worth saving packs for but i don't think today is going to be an absolutely mental day of content it'll probably be an okay day to trade as well especially if you're trading with out of packs cards watch the fluctuations 
And again, knowing that there will probably be some coins put on the game today, some out of packs cards, Centurions, other promo teams might be solid to trade with. Again, if you want to that sort of thing on the market today, but tomorrow is going to be the really crazy day. And yesterday we started to get leaks and I'm sure today we're going to get some more about some insight on these team of the year honorable mention cards now we've had like what i think it's like five or six maybe seven of these cards leaked i think there's going to be more because last year we had a full team we had 15 i believe it was yeah we had a full 11 plus four on the bench we had a full team of 15 honorable mention cards dropped from all the different top five leagues all the different clubs represented here and we only have a few leaked right now there's going to be more to come today but the ones they have leaked are pretty nice and these are going to be cards that will change the market and will change the game because Vinny Jr. for one is getting an honorable mentions card a plus two it looks like over his or a plus one or two over his 90 rated card but this is what I think you're going to see a lot more of today on the market you're going to see cards like this Vinny uh, affect other leaks that we have uh, affect prices on this game right Vinny's card if we take a look this is actually one that I bought with yes bought and traded with yesterday because he dropped down so much Vinny started the day yesterday at 1.4 mil went all the way down to 1.2 Two where I picked one up. He's kind of bounced back to about 1.3. Really rare card. I'm probably going to sell this here in the next hour or so as I'm trying to sell. Mine's right there. 1.327. If I get that sale, I'll be very happy. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff you can see today and on the market with these uh, leaks that are happening. So, Vinny Jr., first one that we had leaked yesterday. There's a lot more though. Saka is getting a card, right? This one right here, of course, caused some movement on Sokka's older promo cards. Some of your Arsenal cards moved a little bit on the market and your English links. Premier League, I'm telling you guys, the Premier League upgrades with only two cards in Team of the Year didn't look that great. After seeing some of the honorable mentions, they are looking really, really good to do as upgrades. But this is kind of what we were waiting for. Also, if you're crafting the upgrade packs, waiting to see who was going to be in honorable mentions would help you decide maybe what league you really wanted to try to craft when you're packing Team of the Years and or hoping to pack Team of the Years and honorable mentions in the next week or so. So Sokka is getting a card. Again, what this promo, what this honorable mentions thing really reminds me of is last year with this honorable mentions team, Cards that are in the same position or in the same league as any person that gets in to the honorable mentions promo, like uh, with this Vinny, right? La Liga mids or probably left uh, La Liga left mids, right? Left wings are going to be affected and right-sided attackers in the Premier League, like Saka's older card. Maybe, I know we just had Amara's in form, but maybe some of your other right mids in the Prem, they're going to be affected in price a lot like this. And we always talk about prices going up during these big promos. We talked about prices going up as people get coins. Not every single price on out-of-packs cards, whether it's from the Centurions team, whether it's from Winter Wild cards, now, I'm not saying like Salah is going to be affected by this Sokka card that much, but all I'm saying is as, the, as they drop these leaks, as they drop these players, not everything on the entire market is going to go up. If there's a new card that comes out um, that is like a certain player in a certain league in a position, if other cards in that spot might go down because these honorable mentions are just looking insane. Now, let's get on to leaks, right? Nate, stop talking about this and show me some of the leaks. Sokka was one of the first ones we had yesterday with the Vinny and then Harry Kane. I'm super excited for this one. I feel like Sun maybe deserved it just a little bit more, but Harry Kane getting a team of the year honorable mentions card. Of course, his other version of the game, the team and tournaments started dropping off a bit. Some of your Tottenham cards started to go up like the Perisic, the Kuti Romero went up just a little bit in price yesterday because of this leak. That's a cool one. Um, and then we keep moving on the list. Joao Cancelo. Now this is where it's big, right? Cancelo was in the team of the year 12th man vote and obviously didn't win, right? Holland won. What this means, and we looked and we checked back on this last year, the two guys that were in the 12th man vote last year were Benzema and Salah. They both got honorable mentions. So for my Fede Valverde fans out there, Real Madrid fans, Fede Valverde will probably be getting an honorable mention as well. Watch out for the leaks today. That'll be a juiced up card, a very, very hyped up card uh, because Cancelo was already leaked. I would assume Valverde is going to be getting one as well. Another Premier League player, right? More recent to open Premier League packs. Moving to the Bundesliga, Alfonso Davies, right? He's got one promo card this year so far. He's going to be getting another one. This one looks really, really insane and is going to be very needed and very hyped because of the Mane 
SBC that's going to be coming out soon, right? Really keep an eye on this Alfonso Davies. He already has a really cracked card, but of course, this one has gone down in value a lot um, after the leak of his new one coming yesterday, right? He was like 370 and absolutely went down a ton. He's back up just a little bit. But again, with these honorable mentions that came out last year, they were like really affordable and really, really juiced up in terms of stats. It was really nice promo cards and they really impacted the market a lot. Any of these guys that had previous promo cards, I remember last year, like Erling had the rule breakers, right? And Erling's rule breaker card went from like, let's see, it was right here, from 400K to like 200,000 coins. I remember like Jonathan David, right? So many people packed this Jonathan David card. The Winter Wild Cards version went from like, it was like 90K to like 40K. No, it was 160K down to 40K, like crazy drops because this, the, the new um, Honor Legends cards were nuts. So just be careful with older promo versions definitely look to sell those even though the prices are already down they're probably going to go down a little bit more because these honorable mentions will be a lot more packable than the team of the years oda mendy right and people are finally happy to see oda mendy getting a card it was leaked to, to be getting one during the team of tournament promo we never got one nice link to the enzo fernandez flashback and argentina links all around he's going to be an objective so maybe we get two objectives i don't know if richarlison is an objective as well still not confirmed on what that's going to be but this is either going to be today or tomorrow might be tomorrow would make sense with honorable mentions dropping in packs so watch out for an otamendi objective but that might be a nice card to grind hopefully they give him 80 pace and again if they give him 80 pace that's making a card that was usually not usable usable which is really really cool a couple more actually i think it's just one more fakir he had an honorable mention a couple years ago He's back. Stats are a prediction of as well, but another La Liga player. La Liga and Premier League are looking so good for these upgrade packs, especially for all the honorable mentions um, that will be involved. That's going to be a hyped card as well. If those are anywhere near the stats that he's going to have, that's going to be a juicy card in this game. So the honorable mention stats look cracked. There's probably more to come today. Watch the market for these players that get leaked if they have old special cards like the Davies, like the Fakir, or if they have links to them that could potentially go up, definitely keep an eye on those card prices today on this game. It's going to be a big Thursday. A lot of people are going to open packs, but of course, a lot of us are not quite there yet. We are still waiting. We are still saving because the big day for packs is Friday. It is tomorrow. One more day. Hold strong. Don't pre-epaculate as they say, because honorable mentions are going to be worth saving for and of course today is the last full day of the team of the year icons being in packs but we still expect to see team of the year icons combined team one and team two in packs for tomorrow we'll get more information on that hopefully today as well so hopefully it's a banger day of thursday content hopefully mbappe is cheap and then we all want to do it because it's like really good value and very craftable during team of the year we will just have to see but if you enjoyed this video today if you're excited for team of the year 11 being in packs hit the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate to put account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.